do subscribe to ekeda channel and press bell icon to get updates about latest engineering hsc and iit je main and advanced videos hello friends in the last lecture we have studied a deep detail what is chemical thermodynamics and what is thermodynamics but in studying this chemical thermodynamics there are basically two components that we are going to study one is system and one is surrounding so what is system and what is surrounding let us see so talking about the system system is nothing but a specific part of the universe which is under thermodynamic observation is known as system for example if i consider that i am boiling a uh, water in a tank in a tank of glass so my consideration is i am boiling the water in a tank so that would be my system and rather than other if i consider that if i consider myself or if i consider the uh, walls the room that would be considered as the surrounding so the system is the only one which is under thermodynamic observation so that is known as a particular system now talking about the next one that is to describe a system specific quantities such as pressure volume and temperature and composition is to be mentioned so for example if i am uh, considering a particular system then i have to specify what is the temperature of that particular uh, system what would be the pressure of that particular system as well as what would be the volume of that particular system so in this case the system is being mentioned talking about the next one that is surrounding surrounding means the remaining portion of the universe other than the system is called as the surrounding suppose in this case that i have uh, told earlier when a water is been boiled and my consideration was the water should be boiled so in that case the system was the boiling water but when the other components that is rather than or other than the uh, tank which i am boiling like it would be me or it would be the room or it would be the rest of it that would be considered as the surrounding which are not under thermodynamic observation or not under thermodynamic study so before uh, understanding what is surrounding and system let me tell you that the system and surrounding the summation of both the system and surrounding is said to be universe and there is a very imaginary line or there is a very a partition that divides a system and the surrounding which is known as boundary so boundary is the one which separates the system and the surrounding suppose if i am boiling a water so in that case the tank or the vessel that on which i am boiling so that is been separating the boiling water and the surrounding so in that case the vessel is acting like a boundary it's not only about uh, the it should be tough but it can also be an imaginary thing that we could separate a system and its surrounding so talking about the next one that is the types of system there are basically three types of system one is open system second is closed system and the third is isolated system so let us talk about each system in a very deep detail so talking about the first one i would consider as the open system so it is a system that can exchange both energy and matter with its surrounding which is known as an open system let me give you an example of it the example would be very much simple this would be a open cup of hot tea the open cup of hot tea means i am not covering it with the lid i have kept the tea as it is so in this case what i could observe is that i when i touch the vessel then i could feel heat so in this case the energy is also been exchanged in terms of heat to the surrounding and in this case the surrounding was me when i was touching it and as well as i could see that there are the evaporation of the water vapors or evaporation of the vapors that i could see on the surface of the layer of the tea so it means the vapors are being exchanged with the surrounding or the matter is also being exchanged with the surrounding such kind of the system in which heat as well as the matter that can be exchanged with the surrounding is known as open system it is not only that we have to uh, the heat will be coming out of the system but it also means that the surrounding can also 
uh, enter its heat towards the system as well as the matter can also be entered from the surrounding towards the system so this indicates the open system so talking about the next type that is closed system a closed system will be a system that exchange only energy but not matter with the surrounding is known as a closed system example if i could take again a lid closed on A lid which is kept on uh, a cup of hot tea so it has been a closed system so in this case what happens is whenever you touch the glass or whenever you touch the uh, cup of a hot tea you could feel that the energy has been exchanged or you could feel the heat but in this case the matter is not coming out of the surrounding or oh, sorry it's not coming out of the system so in this case basically the matter is not been exchanged with the surrounding but yes heat can be exchanged it means we can provide heat from the surrounding to the system as well as the system can provide heat from uh, the system to the surrounding. So in this case, the exchange of heat only takes place, but we cannot uh, uh, exchange the matter with the system to the surrounding or the surrounding to the system. So in this case, this was an example of a closed system. Talking about the last one, that is isolated system. It is a system that can exchange neither matter nor energy with its surrounding is called as isolated system it's a very simple example i hope you have got an idea that when it is possible only when a hot tea is placed in thermos flask so in this case when a hot tea is being placed in a thermos flask the thing is whenever you touch the thermos you can't feel the heat uh, of the hot tea this means the heat is not being exchanged to the surrounding or to us as well as even though if you shake uh, the thermos the matter won't come or the matter won't spill up from the thermos and hence you cannot exchange the matter also uh, that is in this case i have uh, presented it as a hot tea so in this case the whole system is being isolated with the surrounding in this case even though if you provide heat to the thermos the inner uh, tea which is present uh, inside the thermos won't get heat up nor the if you add water from outside again so water that is a matter which will not enter in the system so in this case the heat as well as the energy the both heat or the matter the both cannot be exchanged with the surrounding uh, to the system or the system to the surrounding so this kind of system is known as an isolated system so i hope you have understood that what is surrounding what is system and what are the types of system that i have been mentioned here so thank you friends for watching this video share this video with your friends and yes don't forget to subscribe eGeta channel thank you so much